shift in with our foot lever on the other side here. Remember some of the things we talked about in class? And guys, we got much more detailed videos on this uh, in our transmissions playlist. This is just kind of an overview. But remember the spring right here we said that when you move the, the shift lever up and down, how it spreads apart there, and when you let go of the lever, this is what puts it back to what I call a neutral position. Not neutral gear, but neutral position. When I go the other way, you can see that it springs apart there. So this arm and here's our detent. We said that that's gonna hold the selected gear. We can go ahead and watch that work here too. Now we've dropped into a gear. I'll go ahead and shift through these gears showing you what they look like. So watch your shift forks in here. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna go to second, which means I'm gonna go right past neutral. Okay, third, see how both of those moved? That meant it was disengaging one, engaging another. Fourth, fifth, sixth. We'll downshift, fifth, fourth, third, second, back into first. And if I go just that half step, that is neutral. All right guys, we're gonna do this view, shifted through the gears here. So we have three types of gears in here. We have a fixed gear, one that was built into the shaft, and then we have sliding gears, where it isn't, all, just because it has ears doesn't always mean it's a sliding gear. In this one here, this is gonna be a rotating gear, and this slider will slide into it. So sliding, freewheeling, and fixed. Let's watch those in action and see the shift forks from this angle. This is how a constant mesh transmission works. I hope you found this video useful. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, would you please do so? Also hit that notification button so you'll know about all our future videos. As I always say, keep wrenching and make it a great day.